Before we get into the video, hit that subscribe button, click the bell to be notified when I drop videos, and don't forget to leave a like and a comment. It's your boy Vaughn, and I'm out. Jump! Boy, I got some to tell y'all. So, yesterday, Ronnie did a stream with Chris Smooth, right? Now, I'm going to go ahead and sit out the gate. I feel like Chris Smooth is like one of those people who can like be counted on. You feel what I'm saying? Like he can represent the community. And I know what he got to say is valid. You feel what I'm saying? He can vouch for the community more so. Now, him and Ronnie did a stream yesterday and a lot of 2K19 information was spoke about and discussed and everything. You know what I'm saying? So I got a lot to tell y'all. Now, I might have skipped over some of the stuff. Or I might have forgot some of the stuff. So, you know what I'm saying? Y'all don't be in the comments going crazy on me. But I actually sat there and, like, watched the whole stream for, like, an hour or something. I tried to jot down what I could, you know what I'm saying? And try to take from that. But I'm going to start off by saying the first thing is the attribute cap is 85 overall. So, um, when we get the prelude next Friday... You can be able to upgrade your attributes and go up to 85 overall. So it's not like 2K18 where you played a little four games and that's it. Like now on this one, um, the story mode is, is way longer and it's like 17 how you make a build and you get to um, put some VC on there and go to 85 overall. The takeover badge. Now the takeover badge is kind of different. It's not like a grand badge, but it is. It's more so you control when you you use it, meaning as okay, it's like a bar, so it's like a circular bar thing, you know what I'm saying? Like a circular meter. And it builds up over time, whether you're doing assists, blocking shots, you know, however you, you know how you get hot in the game by playing good ball, you know what I'm saying? You 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 level up, you know what I'm saying? This takeover thing. And what I mean by level up is like it goes up by notches and everything, you know what I'm saying, by you doing good. And it also can be like degraded and it, it disappears completely by if you're doing trash, you know, you're getting the ball stole from you, you're missing shots and you're cold. Just like how any 2K is, you know how you on fire and you do something crazy or you do something wrong and again, to get turnovers, you know, your fire leaves, right? It's the same thing with the takeover badge. But like I said, it doesn't just appear like it doesn't just appear when you want it to. It's like it builds up over time. So you might do two things and you might get like a little teeny bit of your, uh, your um, takeover badge or whatever. Now, you can better use it then if you want to. Now, Ronnie said something about if you save it up and get the full thing, it's like something special happens. You know what I'm saying? But I don't think nobody has done it yet. But like I'm just saying, it, it's good that it's like you get the trigger. You press the right stick down when you do have. You'll take over things like some bars and your stuff or some type of meat on it. You press the right stick down to activate it. And that's good because it's like it really is like you can use it in a strategic way. So let's say it's the fourth quarter, right? And your sharpshooter, y'all want to like make him get assist and stuff to build his stuff up. But let's say it's like 10 seconds on the shot on the, on the clock. You want to try to get your sharpshooter to make him activate his takeover. And y'all try to get him open to pull a shot. You know what I'm saying? Considering. If he get open, he pull a shot, it's most likely 90 point some percent that it's going to go in. You feel what I'm saying? So that's good that you can activate it when you want to. So you can even probably save it. Let's say halftime come you don't want to use. You might can save it or transfer it. Over. I don't know if it transfer over. I want to say it don't because in most games, like if you hot, you don't come into the next quarter being hot. So you might have to use your stuff when halftime come if you do got it because you might not better save it. I don't know. Just like you got some extra timeouts. If you're playing prom, you got to use those. So you know what I'm saying So you won't lose them So it, it might be like that I'm not for sure If they do carry over But I'm letting y'all know Right now as far as The takeover badge You get the trigger Whenever you want to So you don't have to Have a full bar So but of course The longer you have Your full takeover thing You know what I'm saying The longer it lasts And the higher overall You know of course The longer it lasts as well Another thing is um, uh, You get a lot of minutes In the prelude So in the pre like I said, it's like longer than what it is. I mean, I think Chris Smooth was playing for hours and he still said that um, it was a long way to go in the pre -load. So you play for a long amount of time in the pre so they learned from last year. Everybody was like complaining and stuff. So it's like they really listening now, you know what I'm saying, to the community and whatnot. But a crazy thing about the prelude is that somewhere in between the, the prelude, it leads you to the park. 
Now, what I say about leading to the park, I don't know for sure if we're going to be able to play park once you get there. But it does lead you to the park like many that it show you the park. So I don't know if it's like a cutscene and maybe the cutscene show you the park or maybe when you get done with the prelude, you can play the park for the time being that I don't know. But I know for sure that it does lead you to the park. So you're going to be able to see how the park slash neighborhood looks. But we just I don't know about the whole neighborhood, but I know for a fact the park aspect, you will be able to see that part. You know what I'm saying? And. Chris Smooth and, and Ronnie them was both hyped saying like the park is, is, is just crazy this year. It's, it's interesting and everything. And they said like they was really listening to the community. How like everybody was saying like for the time being, it, it was all right having a neighborhood. But then traveling, running all the way there and all the other stuff. It just wasn't cutting. So it's like they really put some time in. And it's crazy too that Ronnie finally admitted that park is like one of the most, you know, hype. I don't want to say hype, but one of the biggest modes that 2K have. He really... Then set then admitted it because over the course of years they really had ain't really been putting too much work into the park. It's like they just been, you know what I'm saying? That's been one of the most modes that haven't been receiving too much attention. But now he finally getting it that this is the biggest mode in the game. Besides my team and my career park is one of the biggest modes, if not the biggest mode. Now um the archetypes. There's gonna be more archetypes than this last year, but it's just like 18, like when you making your build, you don't get to see what exactly your stats cap at, but it does say like you get 20 shooting, 19 dribbling, and stuff like that. So you will see that, but you won't know those numbers until you make your build. But Chris Moore was telling Ronnie like they should, you know, fix that. So hopefully before the game come out, Ronnie them could put some type of patch in that it actually shows the numbers instead of saying like 19, maybe 19, might be like 85, 87 or something. It can actually show us those overalls because height and weight and everything does matter just like last year you know what i'm saying so it's like we just need to see those numbers it, it saves us time you know when you're making your bill because it's like you make a bill you wondering like okay if i make him six five what how much speed am i gonna lose out compared to making him like six eight or something you get what i'm saying and if they was to put those like dumb 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 instead of the, the 19 and all that other stuff you know what i'm saying or when you put your weight up it shows that your speed go down it just be red and all that. if it actually shows the final number like chris move said and he suggested then that'd be a good idea too you know what i'm saying he told him so hopefully you know what i'm saying they gonna get that right you know what i'm saying but um another thing he said is hall of fame battles he only seen that purists can get hall of fame battles compared to last like he said he even tried doing like a mix shot creating first play making second and you can not get no hall of fame battles and he was a point guard so all out of all the point guard bills he didn't see not one bill that can get hall of fame battles unless it was the pure playmaker so that's kind of good now that um only pure archetypes get hall of fame badges so hopefully it's like last year you know how you get 99 overall you get to be able to upgrade to a badge to hall of fame i really think that's one thing they're gonna bring back now i don't know if you get to 99 it might be like 97 or something like that or some high 90s but for sure they bringing that back hopefully you know what i'm saying but the way the system is it seems like it's gonna be that way so i'm gonna say hopefully a big hopefully um and he also did confirm like the shot makers and then that shot shot creating primary and and playmaking secondary was one of the best builds overall builds he said you could dribble when he got like a high 80 shooting so you know what i'm saying just like last year everybody know them sh um shot creating playmakers was kind of peaks they can dunk and all that stuff now he did say he can dunk with it but it was like basic dunks there wasn't no crazy dunks or nothing like that you know what i'm saying also it costs 190k to for you to get 85 overall so probably like I'm gonna say about 10k less than last year, but probably the same amount. It's gonna cost you about like 40, 50 dollars, just like it is every year to get your player just to 85 overall. But the good thing is, he say it's a lot of ways to earn VC. Like they got daily ways and everything. Probably something like one of the ways as far as the daily ways might be like logging into how you know how the app was. How you log into the app every day, you get the daily VC. So maybe like logging into 2K every day, you might get some daily thing. It's about doing that, you know what I'm saying? I don't know, but they just mainly most to say like it's a lot of ways to earn VC now. Um, Chris Smooth said that when he was in his takeover um thing, that's the only time that he got an ankle break away. His shot created first primary, and his playmaker second. That was his build. He used that and he used the sharp playmaker. And he said that was the only time he caught ankles 
was when he was in takeover. But he said he he was shooting threes and he was lending that thing. You know what I'm saying? When he was in takeover, so that takeover badge might be. I don't want to say OP, but you know y'all get where I'm going with this. Like I can't stress about the park. They just really saying how the park is real big and all this. So I'm thinking like maybe the park is how like it used to be, but everything in one that'd be probably rough. They got the sunset and everything. They bring it back, but they put it together in one park, so it's like one big park. You get what I'm saying? So maybe like the top section might be some, the right section might be one with the tools court, the force court, the one on one court, and all that. Hopefully it's spread it out like that, but a big park, you know what I'm saying? That's just what the community want. If we can't travel, at least make the neighborhood as far as the park aspect real big. But that's what they really been saying has been a, a big park and all that stuff coming away, you know what I'm saying? Um, now as far as um badges and progress and all that, it's a progress bar for badges as well as like how far you got to go before you can be a star on your team. So instead of you not knowing what you got to do and all, it's really like a progress bar for everything. He really said that they really been in the lab trying to make like a progress for everything. So hopefully it's like one for the badges. As I said, um, when you starting coming from like, you know how they got the what you call it, like progress thing to you be in the Hall of Fame and all that. You know what it is. But I mean, like they actually got a bar. So we I don't know how that's going to be. You know what I'm saying? But y'all get what I'm going with. I'm probably stumbling on my words right now. But <laughs> yeah, I know what I'm saying. I. They bring it back where you could change the clothes and the jump shots and all that stuff on the fly. So no more needing to go to the mock court to change the clothes and your PS4 sound like a baby jet and the takeoff and all that stuff. No need to do all that. You know what I'm saying? You can change the clothes and all that stuff on the fly. Just how it was in 17 and the previous two cases, mainly 17. He also goes to say it's more new clothes on the way. I did say they had like a little Nike jogging suit and all that stuff. So hopefully they got some raw clothes in and not no cheesy, bogus, plain, generic stuff. You feel me? Now, as far as the prelude, they do say the prelude gonna take a long time to finish compared to last year. Like, I think they give you like a decent amount of story time in the prelude. So I think the prelude might almost be the whole my career storyline, but probably majority of the storyline they give it to you. And that makes sense. So like, you can just carry over to going to the NBA when you get the game you feel what i'm saying is then you had a whole i feel like they should give us the whole prelude as far as the whole story mode that way we got a week we got enough time to toy with the story mode and, and that can last us out until the game come out you get what i'm saying so hopefully it's like that but he did say it's a, it's a long time as far as the prelude i could take a long time to finish speaking of long time he also did say it's gonna be harder to earn your battles this year now, I don't know why is that the case, but for whatever the main reason is, it's going to be harder to earn badges this year versus last year. Um, He also say um, when you plan in China, they do speak Chinese, so it won't be no type of English being spoke. Everything is Chinese, so hopefully they got some subtitles or something like that. Or if not, we won't understand not a word they saying. We're going to have to just, you know, try to read the lips and try to, I don't know, you get what I'm saying? But... If you don't know no no Chinese or whatever, they're gonna subtitles. It's kind of rap. Um, when you're creating your player, you get to see all the potential battles that you get with this player. Now that's good because with 18, we didn't even see what battles we can get. All we did was just seeing like, oh, you get 10 badges, this 10 goals, one Hall of Fame, and you just and you was showed when you were shown five of your gold badges, which was crazy because. None of us expected like we, we, everybody's gonna get gold, um, quick reflexes and all that nonsense. You know what I'm saying? But now you get to see every single badge that you get, so that's good. Only thing they gotta do as far as creating a player when we first create our archetype is just put those numbers in there. You know what I'm saying? Like I know my shot might go up to a 19 or a 20 or five and all that, but what is the attribute cap for that? You get what I'm saying? Show us the attribute cap. So hopefully Ronnie can talk to the devs and Chris Moore can talk to the devs and they can get that done before the game come out. Hopefully like a simple patch or something like that and get that done. Now, um, as far as, um, what was I going to say? I was going to say something. I don't know. I I'm going to come back to that though. But the blow bass, the blow bass in the game is still there, but they not OP. And he did say weight does matter as far as the blow bass. So if it's like LeBron and KD, like KD guarding LeBron, of course LeBron will be the blow bass because of the weight difference. But like somebody like LeBron and um, Draymond Green, he won't be able to blow bound that, you know, in that much. And it's enough defense in the game and all that stuff where you can help to guard that. So it's not nothing that's OP. 
Now, as far as the putting defense in your archetype, they do say it's more rewarding this year and it's worth it compared to last year. Where it was like one of those archetypes where it was completely useless, you know what I'm saying? But now it's worth it because, like, you'll get to stop the drillers from drilling, play good defense and all that type of stuff, you know what I'm saying? But as far as the defense aspect, man, I don't know. You know, I would have to literally play the game. We all have to play the game because... They could say one thing and we get the game with nothing. Just like I always try to tell you, they was saying 2K18 was the best game in this and this and that. When actually it was the worst 2K series we ever played. But like I said, they are people who need to sell the game. You know what I'm saying? They got to con convince us and sway us to buy the game. So at the same time, you can't believe everything somebody say. But you know, you get what I'm saying? Now, um, you can only make one bill in the prelude. Of course, you might delete your whole... Um, save five and I'll just start back off if you want to. Also, it's gonna be a VT, a VC multiplier back in the game. So, the Hall of Fame difficulty you can earn like 2x the VC or whatever the stuff may be, 2x multiply, whatever the case may be. Now, my only concern with this is like, I wonder how is it gonna work as far as the badges. You get what I'm saying? Like, do you get more badge experience if you put on Hall of Fame and you grind? Because you see what I'm saying? What would be the difference besides the VC if you was to put it on Hall of Fame? So, hopefully. You know what I'm saying? I don't know, cause at the same, I don't know how to think about that, cause then you put it on rookie or, or a pro, and you don't you, you don't get that much XP. You see what I'm saying? I don't know, cause normally, I mean, how it's supposed to be, honestly, how it's supposed to be is like if you play on Hall of Fame, you're supposed to get your badges and stuff quicker. You know what I'm saying? That's how it was on 2K17, I believe it was, or whatever them 2K was. If you put it on Hall of Fame, you was most likely to get your badges quicker than if you put it on rookie or something. But everybody used rookie because it was more easy. You get what I'm saying? But for those elite players who know exactly what they're doing and they can abuse the my, my career and all that, they can play on Hall of Fame and do that. And then they also being rewarded with more VC and all that stuff. You feel what I'm saying? Now, badges. Like, I know some of y'all been wondering, like, can you make your own badges or, like, get any badge on bronze like how it was in 17? No, you cannot do that. All the badges is... Stuck to your archetype You know what I'm saying So it's just like it was last year You only get a certain amount of badges But you do get to see all the badges Like I said earlier And He said it was more crossovers More hesitations And all that other type of stuff In the game as well You know what I'm saying So that's a good thing Now I, I forgot the last thing I was going to say Remember I was saying something I told you I couldn't remember I really can't remember what it was But I don't know man I told y'all As much information as I can get out of there Man we got 17 minutes man Appreciate anybody who watched the whole video, you know what I'm saying? And y'all still here with the 17 minutes. This, I know it's a long time, a long video, but man, let me know what y'all think in the comments section. And hopefully we get more information. And last thing I want to say is Pro Amp information is going to be on the way this Saturday during the 2K League. Ronnie said he's going to say something about the um, Pro Amp information. But the Park Trail League said is on the way and all the other stuff. So, you know what I'm saying? Y'all just be looking out for that, man. Prelude on the way as well. But it's your boy Vaughn and I'm out.